Hello guys, today I'm going to make a video about how to find the all the great fairy fountains and also another surprise that's going to come later at the end. I won't tell you about it. So I'm going to go to the first fairy fountain everybody pretty much knows about, which is the Kakariko Village one. Where about that artist dude tells you, uh, just like lets you go down here and then gets to the fairy fountain. There's a couple bloopies in the trail, but it's fine. Also, blue nightshades and all that stuff. Crouch down by doing doing the button that everybody knows how to crouch with, and then just get a couple of fairies. Also get some blue nightshades. Also back here, if you haven't noticed, I'll get I'll get out of my crouching. There's some Endura carrots right here, so I just recommend you get that. Off to the next one. Okay, hey guys, I'm at the Tabantha Tower, and then right down there you could see a, a fairy fountain down there. So I'm gonna go over. And there's also a quest at the guy at the stable down somewhere down there. He gives you like a certain amount of rupees and then you could pay it to get this one. Oh, there's also a couple luminous stones right there. Just wait, crouch down, get a fairy. And Mighty Thristles is this one. Each place might have like a different like flower type plant thing around it, so. Just letting you know, and then there's nothing. I don't think there's nothing really too secret out about here. And then this is another one. So this is number two. Okay, this is where the third fairy fountain is. There's also a, right here, there's a shrine that you can get. It's like in the middle of the desert, like in the far corner. And it's pretty hard to get to. And I actually haven't opened this one yet, so I'm gonna open it up. Actually, never mind. I'm gonna do that later. Well, there's nothing too too much about here, but warm, warm whatever. Oh, an electric whatever it's called. I don't care what it's called, but also cool ones too. Well, there are also some sand seals around here, so you can get your way through the desert. And that's number three. Okay, we're back here. And now this is our last one. You can see Terrytown is right down there. And there's also a great fairy fountain right down there. So all you do is just glide down to it. And there's also a pretty sweet glitch that I might show you right now because we're already here so there's our last one i'm just gonna glide over it to show you the glitch oh man this might be harder than i thought but i'm gonna try to do my best to try to do it so somewhere around here there's like a crack okay so you there's like a stable around here just like down here you yeah, just down there. And then right over here, if you take a path, I'm just gonna climb up the mountain to make it quicker. There are actually gonna be, a, there's gonna be a path back here that will lead you to the horse god. It's really interesting because how the horse god works is uh, if let's say one of your horses dies, it will revive the horse. Oh, never mind, it's back over there. It will revive the horse if uh, if it dies, which is cool. I I once was actually fighting Ganon, and then and then uh, Dark Beast Ganon actually stepped on my horse, and it was not fun. We thought, we thought I thought it died, and then it was just sad for him. So it just says Horse God Bridge when you're ent entering over here. You're gonna see this back here. I actually had this shrine for like six months 
until I found out about this thing. And then yes, there you see like purple light. And that is what you call the horse god. I'll actually show you a peep. If and I'm pretty sure all of you guys know what the what the fairies look like, but the horse god looks I'll say interesting. Look at this. That is the horse god, guys. It's a weird looking thing. At first I thought the ears were the eyes. But and then yeah. Well, so thank you for watching. Subscribe, hopefully, and hit the like button.